it won't hold to sand. It is my birthday. We're going to party like it's my birthday. We don't drink Bacardi because that's not very big. But I mean, technically it could be. I really don't know. How are y'all this morning? I am very happy. Thank you, Kwame. Let's Kwame as he pours the local honey oh, from his village. Thank you, Kwame. It's a gift for me. It's a birthday gift because Kwame knows that I like simple things. So, no, he brought the honey back from the village. I hope you are all having a beautiful morning. I know I just thought about it. It's probably very early where you are. So, yes, I am having some, uh, you know, if the same tooth is there. And I got to do a lot to make sure that I uh, don't, you know, really hurt it. So, I'm eating this breakfast and it's more than a notion but we are here, we are here. So I'm having some, I'm having some uh, oatmeal because it's an easy food to eat and it's really good. And I had deer hunting. I'm staying at a resort called the Beach House. Me and Kwame and uh, for my birthday, we're near the ocean, I'll show y'all. Mmm, mmm, that's different. Mmm, it's a little different. Tasted honey from the village, but um, as soon as I eat this and the fruit, I gotta go gargle. I go, hey y'all, we made it. We made it to 53. I got my bathing suit top on. Don't laugh, y'all know it's not a bathing suit top, but it was started off as a bathing suit top, and now it's just a top. It's cute though. It's so cute, and I had a great sleep. Oh my god. We came in late. That ride, y'all. So we are about three and a half hours outside of Accra. And we take the local, we take a bus. Like, it's kind of like more than a local bus. You got to go to the main station called Kanishi Station. And you catch, all the buses are there. And uh, you're going to catch the one to Takarati. But you're not going to go all the way to Takarati. But you're going to go close. Uh, we Once we get off at Minbazi, how you call it? Minbazi? Badazi? <laughs> what is that called? Atabanzi. Atabanzi, right. Atabanzi. How far away? Atabanzi. Okay, Atabanzi. Thank you, Midasi. How long is that from Takarati? Is, are we almost at Takarati? Are we almost close to Takarati? Because we were taking the Takarati bus. But we're pretty. <gasps> oh my God. So some of them people are like traveling for five and a half hours. Wow. I didn't even know that, y'all. So Takarati is the, is the destin, final destination of the bus. But people can get off. So people might get off at Cape Coast. Well, actually, no, they got the Cape Coast bus, too, that goes to the Cape Coast. But anyway, we got off early. And not early. Earlier, but it was like two or more hours. So anyway, we were on the bus for three and a half hours. And the first time, I didn't notice how long it was. Actually, this time either. I think that if the bus was just a tad bit, the, the back of the bus, like the, the sheer needs to be a little higher. It was a little more comfortable. You could sleep through that whole thing and, and wouldn't even know you was in, on the bus. But it's still enjoyable. Like when the Cape Coast calls, you have to listen. It's just that simple. When the Cape Coast calls, when Elmina, I'm mean, in Elmina specifically, when Elmina calls, you have to listen. It's not you. It's, it's it's pulling you all the way. It's like amazing. That's why you don't know it. But and then and then when you get off at Abad Abazi. Atabazi, Atabazi. I'm gonna get to Atabazi. Atabazi. Right for Atabazi. Then you take a uh, a taxi and back into the where we are called the beach house. Aquanda is where we are. Yes. And then so you take the you, we're in Atabazi, but we're going to Aquanda, the village. It's a fishing village. It's beautiful, of course. It's fishing because it's off the coast. And it's beautiful. I don't know how many times have I said that because it's so beautiful. And then uh, you take this. It's a, it's a rickety road, but the folks know how to drive. This Fonzie country. It's all Akan, but they're Fonzie. And it's just the most, the ride don't even bother me now. It's like part of the journey. And you go down the rickety road, dirt road. It's straight. Like, technically, you could, a person could walk. I'm sure that the village people walk from the junction to back here all the time, right, Kwame? I can see it, because it's not technically that long, right? I wouldn't say it's that long. Like, on a good day, I used to walk a trail like that. So, it's not long, but you don't want to do that with your suitcase and a whole bit. And technically, it would be long for some. So, 
Uh, you take the little roll, and then the same day, we got to the beach house, and we were so exhausted. We ate, and then we literally went to sleep, watched a little local TV, which is always fun. And then we went to sleep. So let me show y'all what we're having this morning. I ain't got no business having this, because my team says, why? We're having fruit, and this fruit consists of this pineapple, which is so sweet. But my team is like, why are you doing this? Banana and mango. You can see I devoured basically the um, oatmeal. And then here is only on vacation do I eat bread, but I do eat it. Thank you. I do eat it, but I can't eat it all. It's too much. By chewing the clumping, I can't do it. So Kwame will eat that bread. I know he will, right, Kwame? Why not? Say good morning, Kwame. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> okay, now say it in tree. Give your greetings in tree. Please. And how do you like being with the lovely Lisa Marie on her birthday? Let's talk about it. <laughs> how do you like being with the lovely Lisa Marie, that's me, on her birthday? Yeah, it's good to associate with a sister for her birthday. Yes, it is. Midasi All right, so now y'all, let's see. Let's see. Um, cool. Let's see where I am. So this is the spot, y'all. So after breakfast, oh, I know he's so sweet. Call me a sweet. Call me looking out for a sister. So right now, I just want you to show you are. This is Elmina. Call me. Where about is the dungeon? It's this way, right? No. See that? Oh, it's this way, Kwame. Yeah. Okay. The dungeons is that way, y'all. Just so you know. And we can walk because I read on the reviews that you can walk from right where we are all the way to the dungeons. You know that Kwame, right? Yes. It's a good walk, but people do it. And then this is the, this is the, look y'all, we just, this is where we are. Look, we, I don't want to drop my phone. We just walk down here. And tonight, because it's my birthday, they're going to build a bonfire and we're going to have dinner on the beach in front of the ocean this evening with a bonfire. How, how lovely is that? And the music you're hearing is from, so over here, is the neighboring village. And uh, we always get woken up to some good music, so I love the music here. Is that specific music? It's not like funeral or anything, right? It's just music, just enjoy, just music. Sometimes there's funeral music I wouldn't know, but Kwame always knows. And this is the ocean, this is mama. This is where I came back and cut my hair, got some nails, you know, all kinds of stuff happened here. And it's lovely. And, uh, oh, let's talk about my fruit, Kwame, maybe. Kwame? Could you cover my fruit? Oh, you covered that, thank you. Is that what they want? They don't want the fruit? <laughs> okay, and so, yes, y'all. Heaven on earth. So this is where, because I talked to the sister already, this is where we're gonna do our retreat. We're gonna do our retreat here. It's a beautiful guest house. You saw the room that we're in. So we have both a view of the garden and we have a view of the ocean. So we're gonna do our retreat here for sure. And like I said, uh, when I get back to the, the, to, to the Accra, I'm really gonna find a dentist so I can get this tooth taken out so we can just have some more fun. But yeah, I'm enjoying myself. I mean, who knew if somebody told me that I would be August 7th, not 2020, and no less, in the midst of a pandemic, in Accra or Ghana, period, first of all, because I'm right now I'm not in Accra. Get out of a cry because that's what you do you got to get out of a cry a cry is wonderful for the creative and for the connections and for you know i'm gonna even say the excitement but i want to all see i gotta smash the fruit i need i need more i need liquid food but right now we're just trying to make it happen Um, but off the Cape Coast, off the coast of Africa, in Elmina, near a fishing village, I'll be like, nah, you playing. So here we're having, this is, this is what I, you know, might end up doing tomorrow. Uh, so our class, first of all, tomorrow is um, our second class for Are You Listening? And we're going to do a ritual 
as much as close to the ocean as possible. I think that we lose Wi-Fi, but I'm going to do it and then film the ritual. So you'll see. It's going to be dope. For those that joined yesterday, you were blessed. Thank you. Oh, Natasha, thank you for that donation. I appreciate it. But you know what I was thinking? Because I'm 53, and 53 means grown a woman, right? So, Kwame, could you do one more thing? Kwame, could you go get my head wrap? Just, I think it's on there. Just make sure. I'm here at wedding, and I want to get a little chilly. But, but uh, grown a woman stuff that we do is we take ourselves to the Cape Coast. I say Cape Coast because Cape Coast is next door. It's the Cape Coast and Atlanta. It's just a matter of going through a, a block. You know what I'm saying? A line. So, Elmina knows where the dungeons are, but it's all off the coast. One Africa is actually in Cape Coast, and one Africa is a little bit up the road, uh, so it's not too far away. Elmina is kind of really small, but if you even want to go to the bank, you would have to, we, we have to get a trocho, I mean not trocho, a taxi to go back to the Cape Coast to go to the bank, but it's not far. But Elmina, if you come, if you, anybody, a lot of you have already come to Ghana and you've done the, the dungeon tour, you will be coming through, you will be coming to Elmina. And, oh my God, let me just tell you about why I always think, I always like say, thank you, baby. I put my wrap on, because y'all, you know, it's a little breezy, but it's not, it's not cold, but we want to, <laughs> we want to just keep it, keep it 100, help me. So yeah, I know I'm all over the place because it's my birthday. But I want to say that, um, uh, yeah, this is where we're going to hold, hold our retreat. So I think we can hold 26 women comfortably, 25. And that's what I, I mean. I don't really, I wouldn't want more than that because then it wouldn't be intimate. And you know, I like to I have to do things intimately. But I already talked to the sister. So we're just waiting for y'all. And we're going to do the dopest, amazing retreat off this coast. This coast made me break habits. This coast... I, and, and so if you joined the class, if you already joined, yesterday was the last day to join, but if you want to, because it's my, no, today, no, I'm sorry, today is Friday, no, 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 it's $87, you don't have to write me to ask to be in the course, it's called Are You Listening, and tomorrow, today is the last day to join, so by midnight tonight, and uh, you want to join, you want to join, join before, of course, before the morning, because today's the last day, that would be right, because we want you to be a part of the ritual. This place right here, what I changed. I cleansed. Like I, I was, y'all know I came back different. And I'm setting my intentions for some other things, you know, and we're gonna share that with the group of what I'm intending. So and you're gonna be able to do the same. And even through me, you're gonna be able, me being here, I'm gonna be able to help you release a lot. So you know, you can't help but go by the ocean and not release. You think you good, you're like, oh, I'm good, ain't nothing wrong, you know. Mm -mm. There's stuff going on inside of you that you don't even realize. That you don't even realize. And that's what's so beautiful about being here, is the understanding of that. So, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited about life. And so what we're going to do after breakfast, besides thoroughly clean my teeth, okay, is I do love this oatmeal dough, this oatmeal, okay. Okay. What I'm gonna do is, cause I'm trying to eat for my birthday, you know. Uh, I'll just fast when I come back. But um, everything, but I'm a vegan, pure, natural olive oils, coconut oils, organic. Like she makes it a point here. This is why this is a spot for us. She is a Ghanaian born, but she's lived in the UK off and on for a lot of years. She recently came back two or three years ago to help her mom. This is her mother and father's business. Her name is Eunice, by the way. Shout out to Eunice. Eunice be taking care of me uh, and her husband and two beautiful daughters. I think she got two, no, three of She has a son as well uh, to come back and help her mom save this beautiful place. And I'm just so glad to be able. See, I, I help too to help her to stay. Does this kind of match too? Okay. To stay in business. And that's what I love that I'm able to support during the pandemic with places like the guest houses. The, the art centers, places like that, they are suffering. They are suffering because there's, there's, I don't know if they're giving any relief 
to the artists, I hope on some level, but I don't know if that's trickling down to the everyday artists. And I know the, the, the guest houses are not doing well. And I mean, and you gotta understand the guest houses are owned by black people, they're owned by Africans. And now we're not just talking about some guest houses or all oh, those rich people. No, these are these are people that they rely on this to be an income. So for me to be able to be here is wonderful. Of course, we have the whole entire place to ourselves. They also have excursions. They have things like, um, I'm gonna go, you know what, I'm, I, it's my birthday, but I'm gonna give y'all a birthday trip, treat because you're always about for me. So let me show you. They have things that you could do, like, uh, and I gotta clean this too. Oh my God. They have things that you can do, like wine, uh, like palm wine tapping, basket tree. Let me make sure what I'm saying is not that you know, familiar to me. Let me see. Basket tree. Uh, and you get to see, we don't only ones in here, so I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do when these places come back full. I, probably, I don't know if I'm going to come, you know. But anyway, Leo is definitely spoiled. Okay, let's look at the chart. Oh, my God, because the guy's not here. Okay, oh, don't worry. We're working with these nails. Okay, y'all. Let's see if we could see it clearly. So, beach house activities, basket weaving. That's 70 Ghana CDs, so that's a little over. That's about 12 dollars us batik making y'all come on does that not exciting 75 okay drumming dancing horse riding local fishing hike and pack lunch i would love to do that village tour only 30 ghana cds i would love that boat ride oh my god let me see if I, but this is what i'm trying to do now because i'm trying to do some things for my birthday uh, they said the palm wine tapping we can do and I actually would like the boat ride. Let me go tell Kwame. And then you got the private romantic beach dinner for 70 US, I mean 70 Ghana. All, all this is in Ghana CDs. And I just think, ooh, that'd be nice too. But I was ready. I'm doing a bonfire on the beach, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Now, I would like the boat ride and the palm wine tapping. So these are things, y'all, that will be available to us when y'all when come on a retreat. But we're gonna put it all in a nice package and make it happen, okay? Because uh, the, the price of the place is in US, it's in USD. And uh, it's, you know, yeah, I, I'm glad she's looked out for me because, you know, we don't even want to hear. So we got a slight little discount, but we're still paying your uh, stay in US dollars. So this is, I guess it's an upstairs too. I've never even been up there. So I'm going to go to the first landing. We have the best room in the, in the whole place. All righty, so did you see that? So Kwame, they got a boat ride. They got the boat ride one. Did you see the boat ride? I wonder if they still do that. I would love the boat ride. We gotta go to the Cape Coast, because we gotta go to the bank. We gotta go to, I gotta go to the bank, we gotta go to the bank. But the palm wine tapping, because it's my birthday, we should tap some palm wine, and then we should drink it. And uh, yeah, so. I'm excited. This is my favorite. This is my, this is my getaway. Like, I don't know how I found this. The, the, when you see how long the ride is, and then where it is, and then down the rickety road, you go, that's only could be the divine. That only could be the divine. That only could be the most high. There's no way. Somebody had told me about another spot, and I was looking up that spot, and then this came up on booking.com, and then she was like, we don't even have to really go to booking.com. We can just do this between me and you. And I was like, yes. And she was like, I, you know, we had a connection, like we said it, like me and the sister, we just had a connection, and we just started talking, and I got to meet her, her mother, and then they were like, hey, I want to I do this, and she said, I would love for you to do that. This, yeah, this be our whole spot. This be our spot. I can't even take you down to the beach, because as soon as I leave here, the Wi-Fi will cut off, but anyway, come into the class, come into the class, it starts uh, the second one tomorrow, and you'll be to be sent the first one. Uh, it's all on Zoom, so it's interactive, and it's wonderful. Also, this Sunday coming, I'm gonna do my special room class. Somebody asked me something about, is it just releasing things physically from the womb? No, because the womb is not a physical place. Somebody, uh, just a physical place. Somebody asked me, do you have to have a womb to do womb yoga or even do the class? No, because the womb is not a, just a physical place. So it's the releasing of everything. It's the releasing of whatever needs to be released. And you will you will understand and you will see it so no definitely it's not i mean like and then so we're going to go over we're going to talk about each asana asana the positions what part of the body is that they're actually opening up we're going to have the affirmations that actually go with it and we're going to actually slow it down and do it more essentially and why that's important 
and why I've been doing it for over 20 years and what I believe it's done for me. And it's gonna be a but of course it's a womb class. So we're talking about womb to me represents, and I feel like my Queen of Food even created those moves. Of course, oh, and why I add the breaths of fire, and why I also do the, the uh, push-ups and uh, sit-ups. I added that to it too, and how you can turn it into your own. It will save lives, minds and bodies, spirits and bodies. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's, it's more than what you can see. So, and plus, it's a master class by me, and I ain't done a master class in my own thing in a long time. So, and then the next week we got the herbalist, and then the following week, last week we got the, uh, what does she say? I, I gotta get the, the name of the African rites and ritual and the, the American. I don't know what the name was, but it's about learning about all these. I'm telling you, they are secrets to me because I ain't never heard none of these. And I, and some things you can actually practice on your own children while they're still young. It's a gift of gifts. So you should come through $47 for each of those, but tomorrow we start the one for us a grown adults, folks. It's all for grown adults. I hope you come through. So let me just say greetings, and then let me go brush my teeth, because I can see some food got up in there, and I ain't feeling that great right now. Okay, happy birthday, Miss Blue World, Vulnerable Majesty. Thank you. Mixed Native, thank you. Hey, Frank, Lisa, Queen Lisa, birthday to you. Enjoy yourself in Kwame. Thank you. Vulnerable Majesty, what do you use to moisturize your face and keep it so smooth? I try shea butter, but it caused some tiny bumps. It's a whole thing, but you know what? I'll talk about it in another video. For sure, for sure. I use, uh, I drink a lot of water. Uh, I laugh a lot, but no, more importantly, I actually use neem oil right now. I be, I like neem oil, but shea butter helps, but neem oil, I can give you that tip right now, neem oil. Thank you for asking. Uh, happy Earth Day. Keep shining. Thank you, friend. A spiritual summon. I love it. Uh, vulnerability. Ah, uh, good morning. Yes, Mocha DMG. Beverly, good morning. Uh, nothing set in stone. Happy birthday, Natasha. Happy birthday. Thank you for the gift. Midasi Pa. KT, happy birthday. Thank you, Audrey. Happy Earth Strong. Thank you, Natasha. Thank you for the donation. Hey, and Zinga, happy birthday to you. Beverly, happy birthday. Frank says, this is the sea of our ancestors. Just passed through to new land. America. Caribbean and Europe. Yes, sir. Absolutely, brother. Happy birthday, Mocha. Thank you. Beautiful. He said, hey, happy birthday wish to you. Thank you for inspiring this black woman in her 40s on how her grand life is in her 50s. Yes, you wear it well. So it's joy. Me, Darcy Pie. Saw of the earth. Happy birthday, auntie. Wishing you a longer, joyful, fulfilling life. You deserve it. Hashtag Leo season. Hey, that's right. Me, Darcy Pie. Stacy says, happy birthday, Nubian Queen T. Thank you. Wow, lovely. When is the retreat? When they open these borders but I'm, I'm going to plan it more but definitely uh, we'll, we'll, let me get it together and we'll talk about it even more May Mian Lee, happy birthday and vulnerable thank you love you thank you for the birthday wishes ladies if you want to donate because you like the video or you want to donate because it's my birthday or whatever whatever is in your heart just want to say do not use cash app only use the PayPal link I'm going to put in the description box so right now I mean I, I really have breakfast with y'all Kwame don't mind, because Kwame knows I'm a, I, I like to do videos. He know, You know that Kwame, right? Kwame's easy, y'all. If there was a partner for me, it would be Kwame, because Kwame is just laid back, y'all. He laid back in the best way, and he's here for me. Y'all, you should know your girl is being well taken care of. He's really here for me, and I appreciate that. I am pampered, I am loved, I am well taken care of. For a Leo who, let's, let's just keep it what real. For a Leo who loves to be served, you know, I mean, that's the idea that Leos love to be served. It's true, let's just say it. And like the queen of the zodiac, yeah, for sure. So for somebody that likes that, I'm starting to understand that, that that man that I'm going to best gel with and, uh, and move forward with would be somebody who has no problem doing that because that's their nature anyway and i think it's a culture too to take care and the problem is different because Kwame's not as he's not steeped in tradition in that way or religion he's not steeped so he's not in it at all in the sense he's alternative as he says he's a child of the universe so it's it's a beautiful thing to meet somebody because like I tell y'all, it's not about is there is there a woke man in Africa. I'm gonna tell you what I mean. Are there conscious men? Are there men who's not stuck in a specific religion or way of being a doctrine? Of course, because you know why? No, out in Africa, Cuba, Dominican Republic. You know what I'm saying? Because you attract what you are. 
You should never, there is no lack in the universe. Now I can tell you it's a damn lie. There is no wishing, hoping, searching for the one when you are the one. So of course, everybody you meet is the one. As I've gotten older, the manifestation of romantic relationships or manifestation of many things has become so much easier because, oh my God, you're going to always keep meeting you and if you really are growing and changing. And I think it's not so much even growth and change, but a true understanding and embracing of who and what you are at this time and loving that, then you're going to find somebody that loved that shit. I ain't, somebody said to me, I love it. They wrote me and says, now I see when you travel, you have no problem meeting somebody and hanging out and kicking and they, they're there for you. You won't either. You won't either. It's the least of your worries. There is no worries. How the heck, let me give thanks to my ancestors. How did I get in Ghana? When I read in my Ghana group that they closed the borders on the 13th or 14th, I quite clear, one of those two dates, I know that. I got here on the 9th. I got here on the 9th, and the president said, now we close the borders. Queen Af Mama Africa, as Kwame called me, Mama Africa has returned. We closing the borders now, and the world is, hey, that's what happened, right? <laughs> Mama Africa came, they was like, we'll close the borders now. That's the, but you have those stories, and you don't come into this intensive, so we can get you those stories. This is amazing to me. I, I mean, even Quasi, the brother that really made it all kind of happen on his end, he said that, do you, don't you think that something you came in on the 9th, they closed it on the 13th or the 14th, I think it was the 5th day, and my 5 is my personal number or something, astro astrologically? Think about this. And somebody told me that I'm in my personal one number, I don't know, personal one year, which means that the new beginnings, that I'm in Ghana during the time of new beginnings. So we're going to break down. We're going to have my sister come back in September and do the astrological course again so we can really understand our numbers of where we are and where we're supposed to be. But all of, us, all of us are supposed to be where we think we're supposed to be. Don't get scared. Don't get stuck. Like, oh, the horoscope said, no, you can go wherever you want. You wrote the horoscope because you are the horoscope because you're born into it. It's like that Khan said that you don't have to worry. The day you was born was or you already picked that day. They say you picked the day you were born. You picked it. Monday, Ajua. You picked Ajua. You that's the one thing you get to pick, they say. It's the most beautiful thing that the way they put it. So I just take that in a larger context to mean you pick everything. Your whole reality is based on what you believe and what you say or what you wrote. Well, you can say it in a lot of ways. So for me, like this is miraculous in a lot of ways, but trace back your steps and see what you've done. And then understand. When people talk about my skin being smoothness, I always think it's, it's a lot of things. I mean, like, you know, we ate late and like, so that ain't always that great, but you gotta let that, hey, those days will be those days. It's love, laughter, and joy. That's number one. But of course, eating right is everything. And we're gonna talk about that on Sunday in the class, Are You Listening? About the food, because you're gonna have breakfast with me. And, and you know, it's gonna be good. So I just want you to know that you, your miracles, if you don't feel like your life has been an everlasting, miraculous journey, it's not too late. I'm 53, I, now I can honestly say that I've made it. God, thank you, the divine, most high creator. God, God is the divine family master, like, Yamanya Olakun. I made it to 53 and I'm in Africa, I'm in Ghana, I'm in Amina, and I'm learning tree. And I need to speak it more. Because Kwame be giving me words every day. Okay, Kwame. This is the new word. This is the new word, Kwame. This is Kwame. Come sit here, baby. Because they that's too dark over there. And you chocolate. And people need to see you. You got to have light for the chocolate. Okay. Sit, sit down, Kwame. Now, Kwame. Yesterday. I'm going to have a little true lesson, y'all. Yesterday you taught me. Because I. Okay, so y'all. This is how I like to learn tree. Come, Kwame. Come a little closer, baby. Bra. Bra. Bra means to come, come, bra. Is this right? Bra. So I say bra. So Kwame, you, to, you told me this yesterday, because okay, how I learned tree is I listen to radios or I listen to people and I, I'm in the marketplace. I always hear this. I thought they were saying bia, bia, bia. But they were saying a, a bia. A bia. A bia. Say it again, Kwame. A bia. And what does a bia mean? For instance. For instance. So you're gonna hear that a lot. You're gonna hear it a lot. And now don't forget too, you're gonna to hear it in a way you actually are hearing it. 
and sometimes the Ghanaian will tell you the, 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 the proper way that it's coming from, but they, it's a slang, so they break it down. But ABI is correct, right? ABI. Now, what was we was watching TV, Kwame, and they were saying something else. And let me see if I remember. Bebia? Bebia. 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 But literally, it's Bebiara. And what does Bebia, okay, Bebia or Bebi? Ara. Ara. Bebiara means everywhere. Everywhere. Bebiara. Ara. Bebiara means everywhere. Bebiara. Or we might hear it, Bebia. Right, so they could know if they're hearing it. Different from Abia. Abia. Okay, Abia. For instance. For instance. And Babiara is everywhere. Okay, so Babiara Be Be is everywhere. Abia. Abia is for, for instance. For instance, exactly. You just learned that today, Kwame. Abia has a different, also, they also have a different way to say Abia. You can say Ana. Ana. It's like all. At all? Oh, Ana. Okay, so we might hear that. Okay, Ana. So, so a lot of times in tree, especially real tree, because I call it real tree, where it's actually spoken, because it's a spoken language, y'all. I mean, two, right? Sometimes they're shortening the words. I remember I used to say, I hear me, me pacho. And y'all was the ones that say, and that's probably what they're saying. But it's not me pacho. What some is say it? pacho. Or some just even shorten it even more and say pacho, which means, uh, pacho. kind of forgive me? No, I yeah. beg you or no, forgive, me. forgive me. Okay. Now, what is the proper way of saying the whole word? Me power cho. Me power cho. Me power cho. But I, that's not what you probably will hear, but that is the right. And you can, so if we came and said me power cho, that would be respected, even though, because they would be a prelude, even impressed, right? right? Right. So that's when you say, you said one time to me, you talked about this foreigner who was talking to a young girl, I'm not going to tell the whole story, but you were saying the way she, he was speaking tree are better than her. Is that what you mean when you say better? You mean they was he was speaking it more in the proper sense and not putting the slang in because maybe foreigners yeah. don't know the slang, yeah. right? Yes. You have to let them know all the words. Right. Instead of you to shorten it. Sometimes. Right. Right. It would be difficult for them to understand. Right. Oh, so it would be, be okay. So it's better, a native. It's better you should uh, you teach them the whole thing. Right. You should teach. Yeah. You, you, uh, you as a teacher believe it, teach us it properly. And then if, as we're living here, it's, we start to shorten it because everybody else does, that'll be okay, but at least you know where it's coming from. You agree with that? Yes. Okay, so when, so in September, you're coming back to teach another class. Okay, so what do you want to focus on in, the, in your third tree class? Um, we have to go, this time around, we have to go to where every day when we were born every day we got a name right they are common names yeah, right it's like i usually call it like, like everybody has his holiday mm -hmm. so the day you were born is your holiday right and you have natural name for that a natural name i love that term you use and, and yours is tell them about kwame and what kwame born on saturday yes and the, and the female born on saturday Amma. Amma. And then tell them my name. Ajua. And the mail is called you. And born on? Monday. And tell them that. So it says there's seven days a week, and you was born in one of them days, everybody has a con name. And you should learn yours. Right? All right. And how do you say, oh, wait a second, Kwame, you did not. No, 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 no. You did not say happy birthday to me in Tree. I'm, in, I'm offended right now. I'm See, offended. Okay. You can say, sister, you are me mawu awodapa. Okay. Me mawu awodapa. Me mawu awodapa. Me wa me mawu awodapa. Oh, I'm getting good. I, like, like he'll test me. I won't remember later. But I'm getting good. So let me ask you. Do you feel like? How do you think I'm doing with my tree lessons? How do you think in general I'm doing overall? Tell me. Tell tell him. I, I I can say you're now coming. Coming more. more <laughs> Thank you. I'm coming more very good. Right, because I, do you find that I use, because he knows that I do, but 
I will do my best to use all the words that I know. Would you say that? Yes. Do you think that's one of the secrets to learn the language is not being afraid to actually use it with the people, whether yeah, you're yeah, right yeah, or wrong? Yeah. That's that's the way. You know, even in English, they say every mistake is a new life. That's right. You have, to, you have to try and right. people help you out. They really do. If you don't, they don't know where you deviate from. That's right. So you have to try from somewhere and that's then right. people will give you a happy hand to get a correct word. And, and he's not lying. People root me on, y'all. They applaud, don't they, Kwame? They get excited. I mean, they kind of know me because from Kwame and we, we be out a lot. They will help you and they want you to learn the language. I, that's the thing that I've, I've never in my life been so, feel like, encouraged to learn a language. And I, not even in Latin America, the way that I'm encouraged here. And I, I appreciate that. I think they see you, you're a black woman, you're an African woman. Why not speak the language? Isn't that, what, what do you think? You think why do you think people are so encouraging for me to learn the language? Yeah, it's just because it's a, it's a repatriation pro, uh, process. Mm -hmm. So I think it's better if you want to come back home. Mm -hmm. You have to be with the people, speak the same language, right. sharing the same ideas in the, with a single language. That is That's right. That's the, the way it most is. Essential. The most essential thing. That's right. Well, thank you, Kwame. So I will be announcing his September class. Y'all need to come into it because we get deeper into it. And it's like having one-on-one -on -one tutoring as well. And we need that to keep that, especially because we're doing it on Zoom. Didn't you like the Zoom class a lot? With the yeah, people you were able to correct them. Yeah, and yeah, that was good. That was good. All right, Kwame. We got some five. That's all right, y'all. Oh, thank you for that donation, the guy from Texas. I appreciate that. Hey, Monique. So, Monique, you was telling me I'm in my, my number one year. Do tell. Do tell. Uh, Lisa, may God continue to bless you. But thank you. The happy birthday, Lisa. Thank you, that guy from Texas. Simple Living. Happy birthday. Good morning, Lisa Marie and Kwame and chat. Good morning. Happy birthday, the movement. Me das, the pas. Sidney, me das, pa. Kwame is cute, says Natasha. Oh, don't get his head big. Nah, he's so cute. Look at him. Not even smiling. Being shy. Happy birthday, says Shelly. Thank you. Lombrage, thank you. Amanda. Bona really love it. Happy birthday. Thank Thank you, ladies. Okay, let me go enjoy it. We're gonna go see some excursions. And you know, when I get on the boat, oh, find a Wi Fi in the boat. Well, we'll work it out. Well, oh, well, I got my regular camera and I'll, I'll post it to the group. I love y'all. I mean, I'll post it to this page and I'll see you the next one. Let me clean these things out, okay, so we can have more fun. Love you. Peace and blessings.